Alright, so good morning. So, I thought I would start another vlog in Houston when I'm back, but we are in another tornado. Okay, come do it here. What do we need, Dad? Okay, pan and I. Oh, we need something, Pat. The pan. Get the pan on the bottom. Give me the pan. Oh, right the water. Dump the water. The, dump the water. Oh, shit. Holy. Oh, you're smart, brother. This is worse than the, the last tornado. Out. So, what happened is a shingle on the roof what do you need blew to? off. Basically, tore the actual roof off. Now our house is exposed to. External conditions. The fan. The fan. The fan. The fan. The fan. The vent. The vent blew off. Yeah. What vent? Oh shit. Ah. <sighs> well, guys. What an intro to the vlog. I'm not ready or anything. My hair looks kind of messy, but uh, I'll see you in Houston. All right. So we are. Heading back, I feel like it's safe enough to just dip, but I took a little stroll to kind of see if I could get like an energy drink before I left. And let me tell you, there were a fucking lot of fucked up shit. Like, it wasn't as bad as Houston, but trees were broken on a, on cars, the power line snapped, and there was pieces hanging, and then power lines tilted over. Honestly, there's, I'm driving right now, there's power lines kind of like slanted, but it's safe it's safe enough to drive so i'm just gonna head back to houston now see you in a bit we have made it home now it actually was storming here it took me five fucking hours to get home which was brutal i left at like 12 it is almost five o'clock 4 45 but now I don't know too. I actually don't know where this vlog is going, but we are recording. <sighs> okay, so we played pickleball, then I went to H Mart to get some groceries, but I got ramen. I was putting ramen away in my little storage unit, right? It's like right here, but usually my rice is there. I pulled my rice out, and um, it somehow. It somehow was open and look what happened all the rice now I have to clean it up Okay, so obviously I just got back from Dallas and I don't have any food. I have like some sandwiches and stuff, but because I went to H Mart, they had some food. So I just bought some sushi basically. And we have salmon, sashimi, and a tuna roll. And I'm not a big fan of tuna, but if I'm gonna be honest, tuna is straight protein. So protein's good for you. So I feel like I should try to learn to eat it. And once I can get the hang of eating it normally, it will be a good supplement because I will be honest, I love eating salmon. But sometimes salmon has a pretty high fat content. So not, pro not the healthiest to eat, but that's why we're eating some Tuna, less nom. Ooh. Mmm, pretty good. Also pretty good. Drink of choice, I just want to try this out. Banana milk, Taiwan. Not a fan. Not a fan. It's like kind of sweet, but kind of not. So, I just got back from the gym. I am no longer sweaty. 
we were gonna do a photo shoot. But if you know, if you've been watching the vlogs, you know I am cutting and I'm dropping weight. I'm actually dropping a significant amount of weight. Not in an ideal time, but I'm still dropping weight. Anyways, I started cutting. I am basically doing what you would call a crash diet. Not the best, actually very unoptimal way to cut because you lose a lot of muscle and you lose your fat. But the whole goal of cutting is actually to retain muscle and lose fat. But then you gotta fucking like, you gotta track your shit. You gotta do all this extra work that honestly I don't wanna do. And I feel like whatever diet is easiest to maintain is the one you should do. But along with playing tennis helps me a lot. But anyways, I started my diet at, and I know it's working because one, the crash diet's making me weaker. I tried doing uh, 105s the other day for however many, and I got like four with the help of with the help of a lift off. But then today I got back from you know having fun and doing stuff for the weekend, and I attempted a hundred, which was gonna be the original uh, amount I was gonna do the other day, and I got it for five, and I struggled. So I think I am losing strength. I don't know if I'm losing muscle. I probably am a little bit. I'm down. So I started at 205. I'm currently weighed in this morning at 192, which is matching the lowest weight I've had. And if I keep this up, uh, the moment I drop down under 190 makes me go even harder. But anyways, like I said, losing fat, losing muscle. I think I'm lo looking a little leaner. Can't really tell too much to be honest, but we are gonna go do a photo shoot pretty soon. Look who it is. This guy is Jamie. Don't mean to brag, but two world records, four national records off the couch. Yeah, I'm pretty much a badass. Anyways, this is who we are going to be shooting today. Let's go. All right, guys, we finished shooting everything. And I don't know if I got sick or if the dog he had brought gave me allergies, but I am feeling under the weather for the first time in like years. So I wasn't gonna go play tennis, but we're now going to rain check on that because it started raining as well as I'm feeling under the weather. And I'm gonna watch anime and fucking relax. Cause I'm, I'm not feeling good. I'm like cold, getting chills. And if you're wondering about why I'm not wearing clothes, I don't want to. So, last night, I shot with Jamal, came home, thought the dog was giving me allergies. Good thing, I'm not allergic to dogs. Started having stuffy nose, runny nose, sneezing like crazy. Started getting chills. I think I got the flu, or I got sick. I'm still a little sick, but we have a little, but basically last night, I was going in and out of like, sleeping, waking up, getting water, eating a bunch of food, you know, just trying to get like better. Anytime I eat food, it felt better. But, oh my God, like I had muscle aches. I was like, what's going on? And I thought it was allergies the whole time, but it wasn't because I'd be better in. I would, I would get cold with shivers. I would put all my blankets on and stuff. And then I would <laughs> wake up like sweaty and then took a shower, went to my bed, did the same thing. Like you could literally see the the wet marks on my bed like the sweat marks like it was that bad like i was sweating like crazy but midway like 6 a.m i woke up again took like a brief shower like just rinsed my body off and then i uh i made some like flu medicine thank god i had some and i feel better than yesterday but i still feel kind of under the weather so we have round two of it this is day version 
But I have a shoot today with Alex for fun, and then I'm playing tennis later. So we'll see how I how it goes. So it's been about a few hours, and I'm feeling much better. But I'm still gonna take the last bit of their flu for the night time to knock myself out and make sure I'm fully better for tomorrow. But I am slightly motivated. Um, so the other day, yesterday actually, whenever I was talking to Jamal, pretty much he, he called me average. I asked him, I was like, Jamal, I need you to be completely honest with me. Don't sugarcoat nothing. Rate me on a scale of one to 10. And he called me average. So that means I'm a five. And Jamal, I'll give it to him. He's a six foot jacked man, you know, you know, got good, good facial features. And, he called, and you know, Anyways, well, this goes back to me. He called me average basically because of uh, my fashion sense and the way I look, you know? Basically said I need to work on my features, work with my features. So I just finished watching a bunch of fashion videos and I'm gonna try to be more fashionable essentially. But aside from that, I need to lean down. Um, I think back in the day when I was lean, thing, you know, it was nice. Like, I'm not saying I'm not lean right now. I'm like relatively lean to your average average Joe, but uh, I could be way leaner. So, still cutting down weight in the 190s still, and I just ordered like $100 worth of clothes. And then I need to buy like perfume, or not perfume, cologne, stuff like that. I'm just gonna start improving on my, my self image. Instead of wearing stuff that's just comfortable all the time. Yeah. And then we'll see if I get a girlfriend. <sighs> Guys. I. Did something. I bought a tennis bag. So the reason I bought a tennis bag was strictly because. Also my tripod has been here. Since forever. I'm no longer sick. I took some. You know. Took some medication. Whatever. I'm good to go. But, I'm trying to up my fashion, whatever, right? But I bought a tennis bag. Why? Because uh, the bag I was using got infested by ants yesterday. So, obviously, I need a new bag. So let's fill this guy up. Bam! Just like that, we got our tennis bag. No more cheap bag. I know I was gonna say, I know I said I was going to buy a tennis bag when I won a tournament, but um, since my other bag got infested with ants and I have no other bag to use, I might as well have bought this. And plus, I thought these bags were a lot more expensive. This bag was actually only 100 bucks. We just ate. <clears throat> I have zero idea where this vlog is going. Absolutely zero idea. Maybe, oh my God, y'all see that, that shoulder vein? Oh my God. Also, a way I know I'm getting leaner is I see a forearm, forearm vein. All right, you don't see it in camera, but I see it. <sighs> Let's just cut to like whenever I do something. Yeah, walk in. Come in. Come in. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. Come in. It's good, bro. Friends are here. No bro. Alright guys. Friends just came over. We watched a movie, played some Smash. I'm about to go play tennis and play pickleball. We are gonna end the vlog here. This vlog was a bunch, was a bunch of, of nothing. I don't know what this vlog was, but I vlogged. And I will pick another vlog up when something happens. Or I'll, I will make something happen. 